Hi everyone, Emily Dean here from ISC 2022. We're on day two of the show and I'm here on the Jobber booth with Arangzeb Khan. Arangzeb, how are you? I'm doing great. Nice to see you again, Emily. Nice to see you as well. Um, it's day two. How's the show been so far? You know, today seems even busier than yesterday and it's just good to be back in a live setting with all these people around, so yeah. it's good. Exactly. So um, one thing, or one of the main things that Jabra is highlighting is its, er, is its uh, collaboration solution, Panacast. Tell me just a little bit of history in case our viewers don't know and uh, kind of where your roots come from involved with Jabra. Yeah, happy to do so. You know, we've been working with Ray for many, many years, as you may know. So we started a company in California called Altia Systems, which invented a whole new way of seeing by using multiple cameras and synchronizing them as to make them look like one camera. We invented uh, a dynamic composition technology now built on the roots of cylindrical panorama. So our core idea is that you can include everybody up to a full 180 degree field of view and keep people looking correct. They are not looking distorted like a single camera with an ultra. And the fisheye aspect that. and all that. All of that's gone. You know, when people talk about fatigue, that's what creates fatigue. And so we got rid of all of that. And that's the root of the product and then coming into um, Jabra through an MNA, Jabra had this storied history in audio. So Panacast 50 is really the first completely new architecture which fully integrates all of the audio technology from Jabra with the video technology from Panacast to create a unique return to the office kind of product optimized for hybrid working. Companion to that is the Panacast 20 and we'll talk about that a little later I hope. So um, the Panacast 50 is kind of the highlight and the main one. Um, there's been a number of announcements made, including the Microsoft front row announcement. Tell me about that. Yeah, you know, so we've had a, a privilege of working closely with Microsoft in looking ahead. And you know, when we were working from home, we all had a camera dedicated to us, right? But when you're in a meeting room, you're sharing that camera among many people. So what happens is the pixel real estate can be different. It's, you know, you're maybe more prominent at home, you're more less prominent in the office. And so what we wanted to do with the meeting room experience is reinvent that. And our idea of doing that is we, with our one physical array with these three cameras, we can bring up up to four people, the last four active speakers, and give them their own prominent pixel real estate. What happens if there's more than four in the room? We will then present everybody through the panoramic feed, so uniquely we can show everybody in the 180 field of view, so you have context. And then these four will change depending on who's engaged, who's active, who's speaking, right? But the core idea is that if you're a participant, whether you're at home or you're in a meeting room and you're fully engaged and participating, you'll be seen and heard and visible very easily and very clearly. And um, with the uh, health concerns that have risen up as we return back to the office, how is Jabra addressing those? Yeah, you know, that's one of the things we very early on pioneered the idea of using cameras as AI sensors. And so because of that, uh, and with the beamforming technology from the eight microphones, we know who's speaking and we know where they're located. So we use that to create new experiences like dynamic composition or virtual director, but we also use that to provide data. And data is going in as telemetry to Microsoft and to Zoom. They can use it to, for example, manage the scheduling panel outside the door. So to tell you that you're, the room is fully occupied. In addition, we also, through our own device, tell people in the room that the room is at capacity limit. So we give them oral and visual cues. So people can make good choices for their safety. You know, we think that if you give people the right information, they'll make good choices for themselves. Okay, that's um, a very intuitive product. It's, I think, going to be used quite well in the modern UCC space. Um, going back to the Panacast 20, uh, what's, what's, what are the different features between the yeah. 20 and the 50? The, you know, the core idea of our products, as you know, always is that we build very high technology, but we want to make it work autonomously and behind the scenes so you have a great experience, right? You're there to do a meeting. You want to get a job done. So we want to just give you the best experience you can. Panacast 50 is really great for collaboration spaces that are shared. Panacast 20 is for personal use. Now, when you're in a personal use, you know, we've been using the basic webcams forever, and they have some real limitations. Imagine you're at home, you're sitting in front of a window, it's bright outside. You know, you'll look silhouetted, you'll see the outside really well, but we want to see you. And you'll be, you'll be like dark and can't see you. Well, so with this device, we have a full one teraops AI processor built in. It's a new product category. And with that, for example, we know where your face is. So we'll do a spot meter and optimize to your face. So no matter what's happening around you, you'll be looking great. 
We also use that to make sure you're always front and center that you fill the frame. We had a, some videos on YouTube, you'll see if your people are three feet away or up to 10 feet away. You can hear them and they all look fully centered because we, can, we have 13 megapixel cameras. So we can do beyond 4K, so we can actually do up to 3.2 times lossless digital zoom to a 720p service. In addition, it has dual video streaming. So let's say you want to show something, you know, you want to do a show and tell. You can create a, an expanded, a magnified zone, and that'll be your show and tell, and you'll be inset as a second video stream. We put that all together into one feed and feed that into the UC service. That's great because then it's truly hybrid and truly collaborative that you can see the other end participant who's doing a screen share. Exactly. That's the whole idea that you're not handicapped in any way and you're doing all the normal things you would want to do when you're collaborating. A really breakthrough feature we're bringing forward now, we're calling it background blur. There's a lot of serious technology behind it, so let me explain that to you. Okay. So imagine that this camera is seeing you at 30 frames a second. You know, in real time, we can discern which pixels belong to you and which belong to your background. So by doing that, we can just blur the whole background or you could even eliminate it, right? So let's say you're at home, you don't want to show off the background, you just want to show yourself. Right that's what it'll do. Or you're at the office, or let's say you're in a, uh, uh, an environment like a health type services environment or a financial environment where you want, to be, you want to be really sure that, hey, if somebody forgot to erase that board, stuff doesn't get out. Well, we can do that. You know, people do background blur in the cloud or in the service. That puts a lot of load on your PC. We take that all off. We do it right inside our device. Oh, wow. So that saves a lot of computing power for more efficient meetings. Exactly. And it's green. It saves less power overall, so it's efficient. And exactly, it leaves you that resource back to do whatever you want. Right. Um, so before I let you go, tell me a little bit about what we can expect from Jabra in the future. Well, you know, we're going to be at Infocom. There's lots of shows coming up. and so on. You'll just see us keep evolving this idea of experiences, right? We've taken a very early lead with state-of-the-art audio and video, multi-camera technology, and now AI. And by combining those, we have a very fluid experience, right? If, if I'm processing right there, I can do it in, let's say, 20 milliseconds, 30 milliseconds. If I go to the cloud, it'll be 300 milliseconds. So the experience won't feel right. So we're gonna keep expanding our product portfolio, bringing out new products, all with the idea that collaboration should be easy and seamless. I'm excited to see those new products and the new technology that comes out. Um, thank you so much for your time, Rangzeb. Thank you very much. Great catching up. In. Again, my name's Emily Dean. We're here at ISE 2022 to see all of our ISE 2022 coverage. Check out ravepubs.com.